Hello, friends. We are back. I hope you are all still having an excellent night. Oh, shit. <laughs> so, chat. Are some of you still awake? Are you ready for Steam Greenlight? Oh, what the hell is this? I need... I need to see what the hell this is. Chat. Why? Why didn't I know about Metal Castlevania? <clears throat> Some of that was like the most. Okay, I want to just. I want to highlight one part. That fucking blew my mind. Where? Where is it? More gruesome deaths. Watch. Watch this section. I just. That was fucking awesome. Okay, where can I, yes, add to my wish list. That's amazing. That's like the, how? Very positive, mostly positive. Slain Back From Hell is an addictive platform game forged in heavy metal culture. Damn. I heard the game has control issues. I don't know why Ty where Ty is at because of all the st Wait, I heard the game has controller. I don't know where Ty is at because of all the stuttering. Research the control issues. I heard it was rough and buggy. Hmm. I mean, if it's shit, I can refund it within the two hours and just say it's rough and buggy. Steam's kind of neat like that. You can almost rent games now. <laughs> as much as I hate saying that, but it's, it's important. Uh, okay. Um, let me just see here. Are there any more? What is this? Oh, okay. That's stolen. Uh, rapid even, well, it's not stolen, but what is this? Let's 
that is Cory X Kenshin. Yes, I'm just. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Um. <laughs> oh god, that was the worst. There's really only like two actual remixes, and the one that we always listen to is oops, is the best. This one is still the best. It's fucking it's so good. Okay, we can't there's Hack me, daddy. <laughs> well, it begins, okay. Lucky, the lucky, lucky one. Uh, Trundle the Great. Trundle the Great, you have been chosen to kick off Steam Greenlight. You may choose Hack Me 2, Sakura Magical Girls, Cogmine, Cetris, uh, Maze Man, Fare Thee Well, Achievements Shop, Grid with a one and universe in fire. <laughs> Not rigged. Universe on fire. Let's get the steam. Also, you'll notice the title is a little bit of a tricksy, tricksy tricks. Um, this is the steam, the officially, this is the steam shovelware review uh, show. Let's go. Universe in fire. Save galaxy and his ass. That's not like, is it English? More than one million of enemy ships. which you have to destroy in order to save yourself and whole universe. Unlimited number of rounds of ammunition and, an, and a limited number of lives. Shuttles, spacecrafts, missiles, and a lot of lasers. All this awaits you in one of the most dynamic games. Universe in fire. English. Right. Circles. Save his ass. Make sure you save. 
this is just a big garbage. This game is a big garbage. It's it's like if Geometry Wars had no graphics. Was It's like if Geometry Wars had developer graphics. You're fighting circles. The the effect is just garbage. This gradient with no, like, what? The interface is trash. The video showed the same enemy units over and over and over. The, the ship you play as looks like shit. And, like, look at this. Look at this. Look, you're gonna pay money for this? This anti- this aliased garbage rocket ship? This was terrible. The sound effects were awful. The music was- the music was quite good. Um, this is awful. Look, save Galaxy and his ass. Oh, how I learned to stop worrying and mourn green light. Same. That sums it up right there. Uh, this is a fuck no. This is this is actual garbage. Uh, I'm gonna give you a uh, a 12 out of 100, and uh, stop pretending you speak good English. <laughs> are you? Is it Russian? Like what? Okay, what if? Okay, only one green light. Put Putlin Industries. Putlin Industries. I'm thinking Russian. Anyway, no, no, wet garbage, it's, it's a big wet garbage, Putin industry, yeah, okay, anyway, no thanks, moving on, at least it's not, wait, at least it's not Russian shovelware, except that it is, all right, here we go, this is the one I wanted to see, hack me daddy to, let's go. Also, is someone is someone grabbing links? Uh, oh shit, uh, Rio Grande! Thank you very much for grabbing the links. I appreciate that very much, my friend. Hack me to. Hack me, Dad. Hit hack hack. I would never pay money. English, Russian. I would never pay money <laughs> for anything like this. Get ready to get. <laughs> Chat. <laughs> get ready to the sequel of the popular indie game Hack Me. Hack Me 2 is a story about hacker amateur who is going to confront to New World Order. There is no place for personal secrets. You'll learn how to use command prompt, SQL injectors, remote control utilities, and brute force, and log cleaner, of course. Clean up your shit off of Steam, maybe. Maybe that would be a good start. More Russian shovelware, more paid, hang on. Nice, nice, cool, excited, nice, nice. Right, cool, nice, Nick, cool, Nick, can't even, I want, nice, good, good, nice, nice, oh my god, nice game. More developer censoring criticism. Vote boosting, deleting comments. In some cases, we accidentally deleted some comments. In other cases, we fixed some issues and deleted it because they were use un unuseless. And we didn't boosted votes. We're honest and we want to know real people's point of view to make Hack Me Too better. And it, he believed it? Thank you for your reply. I definitely appreciate the feedback. You're lying. It was super boosted. 
There's 25 pages of nice, good game, great, nice, excellent. Fuck you, you get a fucking zero. You get a zero. Hack me to keeps to take take it back to Russia. Hack hack Russia. Stop hacking Steam. He was hacked. Fucking trash. Well, Chad, if ever I wanted my stream to get banned, here we go. All right, here we go. Anime titties. <sighs> Sakura Magical Girls. So fucking bad. <laughs> now remember, for all of you drooling <clears throat> and and thinking about your waifus, remember the sweaty guy in the cubicle eating ramen noodles who drew those boobies. Just remember, just in here, chat, in here. Never, never forget, never forget. His, his fucking tablet pen that he uses to draw is like encrusted with the, um, with the seasoning that you pour into the ramen bowls. The like that nasty fucking like salt seasoning that's delicious. But like if you don't prepare it properly and wash and clean up behind yourself, it, that residue, and it's like all in his tablet pen and like all over, and he's, and it's, it's as he draws your waifu, it's like in your waifu. So the next time you look at your favorite waifu, think about the, the, the MSG seasoning salt that went into your waifu's creation. Anyway. <clears throat> Kink shaming is horrible, but it's so fucking fun. It's so. It's... <laughs> this isn't even a game! <laughs> no, no, no. <sighs> You're ruining the plot, Ty. Stop. Ty, you're encouraging weebs to eat their waifus, aka Vor. You're, tr you're right, guys, Shrek. I gotta be careful. I may have just described somebody's kink. Anyway, there's no game here. I, the, I assume it's a visual novel. Yeah, visual, visual novel with like. I will have to punish you if you don't start behaving better. Why are you wearing like a superhero costume in like your condo? It's an, oh, it's it's an anime convention. It's a cosplayer. Oh, they're just cosplayers. Got it. Still a fucking no. <clears throat> Another effortless Sakura game. Another one. Another one. Winged Cloud. Anyway, this is trash. This is trash like all of the other Sakura games. If you're truly desperate and you don't know how to get free porn, because there's, Tons of free hentai games out there for the, for the choosing. Tons, like hundreds. If you really want to spend money on softcore Steam anime porn, be my guest. Uh, but you can get way better stuff for super free, and it has way more effort put it into, into it than the Sakura games. So please just... Do it secretly. Wear tie. If you need to ask, it's not for you. <laughs> it's the number one series in sales because everybody else get everybody else gets it for free. I will admit. I will admit. 
I was once curious a long time ago and I wanted to see what the whole, what these games were all about. So I, tr I downloaded one just to, just so that I could properly, I knew many years later, I knew many years later we would, I would be on a platform where I could, um, I could critique them. <laughs> Tyson <Tizy> Yiffer. <laughs> I did not pay money for it. It was free. <clears throat> and what I realized, what I realized, chat, is that the amount of work that you have to, and hours you have to put in, because most of them have a, have a, um, a format like this. You're some dude or girl and you're going to school or college or university in Japan and you have like a bunch of stats. It's kind of like The Sims, it's weird. You have like all these stats and you pick classes and stuff and you go to classes and there's your busty teacher and the fucking, your, your classmates and you're trying to like seduce all of them but it takes so much work to fucking like you gotta to buy them stuff and go on dates and and I'm just like eh, what am I here for am I here to to play your little micromanagement um, ridiculous sims knockoff and play 67 hours trying to seduce the teacher or do, do I just go find porn the same way everybody else does so what I realize it's a huge fucking waste of time and it's so anyway, don't pay for that shit. Don't don't fall into the the the, the trap of the sweaty dude in the cubicle drawing waifus and paying money for that. Just don't do it. Ty doesn't have the attention span to touch himself in an immersive world. <laughs> 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 oh, jerp. You and your one-liners. Okay. Cogmind. So steal it? I never said that. You said that. Is this another Haxor game? This is actually pretty cool. Oh shit, it upgrades. There's actual, it, it upgraded from ASCII to like graphics, kind of. This is super neat. This is this is great. You are Cogmind. That's how you that's how you do um that's how you do a game. I don't want to say with no graphics. That is how you present a game. I don't I don't I don't know what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is if that game had remained ASCII. Master Restia, thanks for the two dollars. Uh do I have yeah. Let me let me read that real quick. Asteresia, I'm in Mexico right now. It's fucking great, mate. Cancun is awesome. A two and a half liter bottle of Coke is two dollars. Oh, so you're not like at a resort? Anyways, I'm gonna get you a gift. What do you want? There's really cheap mugs or a t-shirt maybe. I'm tired. Um, wh whatever you want, Asteris. Like the, the sillier the better. Just get me some, um, you, if you're at a res are you at a resort, Asterestia? If you're at a resort, usually once during your stay, if you're staying there for like a week, there will be, they'll let vendors into the resort and they'll set up like a, 
like a little market thing where they sell souvenirs and stuff, just get some cheap, ridiculous, funny statue or something. Or a sombrero. Just, if you want me to wear something, by all means. <laughs> it doesn't matter, man. Any Anything you can think of, just keep it silly. Yeah, silly is always better. But thank you, Astresia, for the $2. I hope you're enjoying Mexico. I've been to Cancun once. It was... It was real nice. Actually, no, I wasn't in Cancun. Where was I? I was on the Mayan Riviera. Is that Cancun? Anyway, I was on the, the side that, the, the Florida side, like the, the East Coast corner thing of Mexico. Anyway, uh, this is really cool. The interface was just, it, everything about this, this game looks super legit. I'm at a resort, but really everything is cheap as shit. A can of Coke is 50 cents. But Astoresia, stuff at resorts usually are free. How how are you paying money at a resort? Maybe you're not at the same kind of resort. I was at a resort where everything was just free. Unless you wanted like the top shelf liquor, in which case you had to pay money, but. Um, don't get him a silly shirt, he won't wear it. I might, I will one day. Uh, anyway, this is super, super cool. The, the, it's just dripping with style. The music was awesome. I love that this gun is made of ASCII and it looks better than most guns I see in like pixel art games. That's going a long way. This is one of the most beautifully done ASCII games I've ever seen. Uh, and I like, I like that it had, it transitions to like not ASCII to like these kinds of graphics. Man, this is nice. Yeah. This is a yes. I'm gonna give this, give this an 85 because I'm blown away at how interesting they managed to make a game like this. <coughs> yeah, not all resorts are free. The one I went to was. Um, would you wear a shirt with your own face on it? Probably. I, not out, I wear it on stream for you guys. Ty stole a bunch of soft drinks and chips. No, I drank way too much alcohol. <laughs> yeah, there was no soft drinks or chips to be had, unless it was mixed with liquor. Um, no, this is great. As a terminal-based experience, the UI without a doubt plays a major role, being basically the style the entire game is built around. Yeah, this is, I'm gonna give this an 85 and a yes. You own Cogmind, it's an interesting one. But it's not, it's on Steam Greenlight. Huh. Everything is free if you don't get caught. Okay, this I'm interested in. Okay, so fun fact, Tetris is in my top five favorite games of all time. <clears throat> Chat, the only reason you haven't seen me play a Tetris game is because the only respectable Tetris game that's on a modern gaming platform uh, is uh, <coughs> Tetris DS. That's the last good Tetris game. And Tetris players will agree with me. People who don't understand the beauty of high-level Tetris play will believe that things like Tetris Friends and, and other fake lesser games are worth playing, but they're not. The last good Tetris game was Tetris DS until it got filled with cheaters and then you couldn't even get a game. It had the best matchmaking of any game I've ever played. It was so precise and amazing and... Mm, <clears throat> If a Tetris game doesn't have a triple T-spin, and if you don't know what that means, then it's not a Tetris game. Anyway, I don't know if this is Tetris, but I'm thinking, given that it's called Cetris, and that I see, like, Russian, uh, like, communist uh, symbology. Sim symbology? Yes. Uh, symbology a word? Symbolism. Sim Russian symbolism. Tetris, I am... When it comes to Tetris... I played Tetris at a very, very high level. It's one of the two things, three things in my life that I've played at the highest well, level I, of anyone I knew it was Tetris DS, uh, uh, Donkey Kong, 
arcade, the arcade game Donkey Kong, and Battletoads. Those are the only three games I've ever played at like, like the highest level of anyone I knew. But it was because I was young, and back when I was young, I was talented, and now I'm just a fucking clumsy old man who struggles to catch up with anyone. <clears throat> anyway, high-level Tetris. It's Are you kidding, Alvin? Lol, high-level Tetris. Do you even know what a good game of Tetris looks like? You're drunk. I could, I could build a prison of blocks around you so fast you wouldn't even know where you were. It'd be like Minecraft when you're fucking tunneling and like the ceiling caves in because it's all sand. It would be like that, but Tetris. And then I'd fucking stick a triple T spin right, right in your undercarriage, just right up in there, and you'd just be dead. You'd just, you'd be super dead. So don't even laugh about high level Tetris. You don't even understand. Did you ever play against Jarrett? Jarrett and I played hundreds of matches and Stacy. I played Tetris with all the guys from Pure Onage. We, we were hardcore. <laughs> it was crazy. Anyway, I haven't played Tetris in a long time because there are no good Tetris games left uh, other than Tetris DS, which I can't really stream. So, <clears throat> But we'll see. We'll see what this is. I just wanted to let you guys know that I, if, if it's bad, you can't almost get Tetris. You got to get it or it's... Anyway, it's one of the only things I'm, I'm elite, <laughs> elitist about despite not liking elitist things. <laughs> Thank you for that demonstration of the menu. Fucking garbage block placement. What are you thinking? Are you an infant? What? No, don't. Oh. Well, no. Come on, man. You're you're killing me here. You're killing me, dude. Set up, set up the triple T spin or get out of town. Also, what is with the like Western music that's playing in the background? What is this? What is this? I'm in, I'm honestly in shocked and embarrassed for you. <laughs> also, the game sucks. The game super sucks. It is just Tetris. It is like bad Tetris. This is like worse than the NES Tetris. So it's just stolen, that's all it is, it's just English, Arabic, Bulgarian, Czech, Danish, Dutch, Finnish, French, German, Greek, Hungarian, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Norwegian, Polish, Portuguese, Portuguese, Brazilian, Romanian, Russian, Spanish, Swedish, Simplified Chinese, Traditional Chinese, Thai, Turkish, Ukrainian. You're going to take the three words you have on the interface and run them through Google Translate and copy paste, nice. The mother of all puzzle games has come back. Even if you've never played a video game in your life, this is the one title, blah, blah, blah. You stole it all, it's garbage. This, like, you managed to make the Nintendo version of Tetris look superior. That's... <laughs> this guy is very lucky that the Tetris trademark is, like, kind of up in the air because... If this ever saw the light of day, it would get mega. Can you not just report this game? The thing about Tetris, Lolliot, is that Tetris doesn't have um, <clears throat> the copyright for Tetris is split over several different places. So no, I can't flag it, chat, because just saying this is a ripoff of Tetris. T Tetris isn't like most games. <coughs> Tetris was made when. Uh, when Russia was the Soviet Union, and you couldn't actually um, copyright. There, there's, I've read about it, but basically what happened was um, the guy who created Tetris created it while, like, secretly, 
and then released it to the states. And the states, his friends in the United States handled the copyright, which basically meant nothing. So right now Tetris, certain versions of Tetris are licensed to certain people, but there is no overall Tetris trademark. So like, even if we reported this, Steam would be like, we can't do anything about a Tetris clone, even if it's a direct copy, because no one can defend it. Uh, so anyway, it doesn't matter though, this, this is silly. This is a fuck no, this is a terrible game. People would buy it and be like, oh, this is kind of garbo. So uh, yeah, this is no. It didn't even look like you could, um... it didn't look like you could press up and like insta drop the piece. <clears throat> Dredicone, 21 downvote. Uh, the game name and all associated works of Tetris are owned and trademarked by the Tetris Company. The concept of Tetronomos, however, are not owned by anyone. Therefore, the Tetris Company's website indicates the term Tetronomos is in fact trademarked. Whenever you can create a clone of Tetris under another name is certainly up to debate. Recently, a Tetris clone named Blockles was removed after litigation from the Tetris. Okay, so things have changed. Thank you for digging that up, Lolliot. Uh, that's interesting. Okay, but I'm still not, I'm not reporting this. This is trash. He's not gonna make any sales and people who do buy it are gonna be like, oh, I could just load an emulator and play the NES Tetris. This is awful and it's a no. But that's cute. <clears throat> so we can flag it if you want, you can flag it. It's not gonna, nothing will happen. The music is a little louder than I'd prefer. I'd rather hear you better than the wallpaper music. <laughs> okay, I'll turn it down. All right, Maze Man. Maze Man. So it's in legal purgatory. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff that's in legal purgatory. Uh, believe it or not, Battletoads is another one, a well-known one because it became a meme. Uh, Battletoads is another one that it's like, it's the trademark is split over Rare, Trade West, and I don't even think Trade Rest West exists anymore, but there's something else that Battletoads has like three, it like shares its copyright across three different places. Man, copyright stuff is, uh, or and trademarking is like the most complicated shit, especially when it comes to video games. Uh, okay, Maze Man, let's go. My father was a maze Triple T spins on YouTube, that's His insane. Father, it's fun. Also a maze man. His grandfather was a shoemaker. Just kidding. For anyone that doesn't, I just want to say, for anyone that doesn't know what a T-spin in Tetris is, <clears throat> most people think if you want to win a game of Tetris, you stack up all the blocks and you leave a narrow space, usually on the edge, and you drop the narrow four block piece in that space and you get a Tetris and it drops some shit on the other, um, uh, on your opponent's screen. A triple T spin is where you leave a space in the shape of a T and using what looks like a glitch, you bring a T-shaped piece in and you spin it into a slot that it shouldn't normally exist. A triple T spin is where you set up three empty T spaces on top of each other and you actually glitch the piece inside three of these. So you go. You bring the, t the piece down and you glitch, you go one, two, three, and then you, you do it two more times. And what happens is in certain Tetris games, good Tetris games, you're rewarded by dunking the shit out of your opponent. If you land a triple T spin on someone, basically their screen goes from no garbage, so their screen is empty, to like they're right at the very top of the well and they're like panicking to survive. <clears throat> That's, it's basically cheating. No, it's just considered extremely high level play in the same way that wave dashing in uh, in Smash Brothers is considered like high level play. A, a T-spin or a triple T-spin is how like pros play Tetris. Um, I was never that crazy good. I could do triple T-spins and stuff, but, um, and Jarrett and I would do T-spins all the time, but you always choose a T-spin over a Tetris because a Tetris is just, it's for babies. <laughs> but anyway, look it up, it's, it's crazy shit. Um, it's hard to do, but once you kind of get the idea of it, it's so addictive. Um, and yeah, uh, anyway, enough about my Tetris elitism. Let's play Maze Man. My father was a Maze Man. His father, he was also a Maze Man. His grandfather was a shoemaker. 
Just kidding. He was a maze man, too. Today, I fulfill my destiny. Thank Today, you, Trundle. Holy shit. I become the maze man. It's like super. It's like crazy Bomberman. Shit. That was amazing. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Ama <laughs> Maze Man. First of all, the intro, like voice acting and everything, really sold it. As silly as it was at first, it it worked. And then the actual gameplay looks amazing. The pixel art is awesome. The animations are crazy. It looks like there's a million different enemies, different tile sets, crazy attacks. The art, like I said, is gorgeous. Um, I like that it plays like Bomberman and also like, um, like Zelda a little bit. Uh, and also it feels like it has elements of like um, Binding of Isaac and other kind of games like that. The art is just fucking fantastic I I have nothing negative to say I in fact I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna follow this because this I could uh, I generally avoid games like this until they're presented this well the problem is it's a maze game and I have no sense of direction but I feel like it wouldn't be such an issue the mazes that piss me off are the ones in first person because you have no landmarks. You can't tell if you're close or, or whatever to anything. Enter the maze with Maze Man, a fast paced challenge with beautiful pixel art. It's a video game that will challenge you big time. Thanks to frantic pace, enter the maze and look for the key while avoiding all types of dreadful monsters. Lots of unlockables, monsters, levels, power-ups, and collectibles await you in this beautiful endless stream of pixel art mazes filled with some awesome arcade vibes. Yeah. Ty, one of your gifts came to your one of my gifts came to your PO box. You mean other than the one we got yesterday? It's so like a new one. Okay, I'll check that out uh, tomorrow, Elliot. I think. Ty, what was that boat game you played where you super broke it and the devs were? Oh, that's um, Last of the Leviathan. Last of the Leviathan. I gotta try that again, Geistra, because apparently. There's been a lot of updates to it, and uh, I'm waiting for them to add AI ship battles so that we can bet on them. The chat, the um, scambling tournaments we used to do are not dead. I'm just trying to find the perfect games for the next one. Uh, but yeah, last the last Leviathan, or last of the Leviathan, the last Leviathan. It's one or the one or the other. Uh, that's the game you're thinking about, Geistra. <coughs> That game was crazy. The fact that we found out how to fly and go to space caused them to like change the game dramatically. <laughs> God, that was that was good times. <clears throat> okay. Anyway, this is amazing. This looks super kick-ass. I'm gonna give this an 80. Uh, I have nothing really negative to say about this at all. Uh, I've noticed you still haven't tried on Lolliet's previous gift on stream. Put on the Hawaiian shirt one day, one day. 
Battling among to say these behemoths are descendants of Last Leviathan, others refuse to accept that they exist. Once you've seen one on the horizon, you'll wonder you'll need to analyze the weapons, monsters weakness, craft bigger weapons, build a specialized ship, then release the dogs of war. Holy shit, there's monster battles? They added they added monsters? Really? Good night, Asterestia. Have a good one. Anyway, this I'm gonna give this uh, an 80 and a yes. Uh, like I said, I have nothing negative to say about this. It's really cool. Let me take a look. Oh shit. Okay, Geistra, we gotta go back to that game. We definitely have to go back to that game. Damn. Okay, but this, yes. How do you get the Steam green light? You hover over community and you scroll down to the middle where it says green light, you click on it, and then you'll have your, you'll be able to view your queue, and then you just go through it that way. And you can search for the games uh, the way, yeah, the same. Just search the title in the search box. Okay, Maze Man. I'm interested in this. This looks actually really cool. Chat. This might be... This might be kick-ass. This... Maybe. It could be a big garbage. But I'm thinking. I'm thinking we might have... We might be onto something here, chat. Prepare yourself for fare thee well. <clears throat> I don't think this is anime porn. I think this is actually something very cool. In the winter of 1967, a young man enters out of the snowy night into a bar in the sleepy town of Cedar on the... He is a wanderer, cursed with eternal youth, sent out by the fate forever to roam the world, never to find a home. Maybe it's just like a novel? Bartender approaches him when he takes a seat and he pays for a drink so he could stay. Yeah, maybe not. Warmth fills the wanderer as he downs it all in one gulp. gulp. After that, he sits a while to rest, but knows he can't stay. Just as he gets up to leave, he notices something happening in the corner of the room. What? A girl in a green dress is about to sing. Oh, that, that photo? This photo with a Photoshop filter over it kills me. Anyway. Oh, this, is there anything else? Temporary gameplay video. Here we go. We'll see. We'll see. It's... Nope. Nope. Sorry. Nope. The short kinetic visual novel inspired by traditional folk music was originally created within the course of two weeks for the Nano Reno 2016 Visual Novel Development Festival. 
It is a character-driven story focused on the theme of beauty and tragedy of the passage of time. This version will include updated, remastered music, visuals, UI... Oh, it's, it's already a game? Eight people worked on this? Eight? But there's no voice acting. It's just... And, and it's just backgrounds you stole. Like, all you did was take a photo of a bar and then, and then use the uh, uh, stained glass filter in Photoshop. The actual foreground art is okay, but it's nothing, it's nothing I would, like, <laughs> write home about. Uh, so, so, and there isn't enough writing to really prove that you have much of anything. I don't think so. This isn't good enough. There's not enough here. I try to be lenient about visual novels because it's hard. It's, it's hard selling a novel but this is this is kind of poorly done across the board and I, it's not inspiring at all uh it's actually quite quite bland and the story you alluded to something that might be interesting but it, no it's free to play i don't care it doesn't matter if it's free to play that makes it a little better um but uh it should be on game jolt Sorry, chat. As savage as that sounds, it should be on Game Jolt is the is the answer. It should be a free game on Game Jolt. Ta-da! <laughs> Sorry, this, there's nothing here. You gotta sell the game to me a little better than that, and you didn't do a very good job, so rip. Rip. Now this, this chat. This, are you ready? Oh no. From the creator of Game About Nothing. Didn't we review that and give it a an overwhelming fuck off? Achievement shop. I know what you want, achievements. This is why Steam Greenlight is dead. That's the whole game. That's the, the video is over. Are you are you kidding me? No wonder this platform is such a fucking joke. Thanks to all. What else did you make? What other garbage are you responsible for? Eleven, eleven green light items. Eleven. He, he has two pages of Steam green light. They're all green light. Well, some this one didn't. This one didn't. Oh yeah, we we reviewed this one and gave it nothing. you got for me this looks kind of cute okay this is adorable and it looks like it plays not very well
Okay, this isn't bad. I still don't think I would green light it. But it's weird and I like the music. But holy, oh yeah, a game got green light. That makes sense. One last one. Crab dub. I'm sorry. Pot 47 reviews. Holy shit. Oh man. Anyway, fuck no. Just fuck right off. This is certainly going to be gone then. Green light's dead. Did you just assume this game's <laughs> uh this is so bad. Uh why are all their games like 20 FPS? I don't know. 26 people bought that. Well, I think 26 people were given codes and then gave it favorable reviews because that's usually what happens. Um, good night, Baharat. But anyway, this is this is so bad. This gets a this gets a negative five because it's it's not quite stealing, but it's close. Also, this is like the worst. Listing every language. Fuck off. If you can get one person from each of these languages to play your game, I'll be amazed, but no one's going to. This might be the last one. Grid? I can't remember. Oh, there's been some bad ones, man. There's been some bad games tonight. Ty, I don't know if you got this game yet, but holy shit, it looks really good. What is this? What is this? Distraint 2? Uh, I looked at it. Oh yeah, we, we looked at this game. It's like a weird horror. Yeah, I um, I can't remember if we saw that on Steam Greenlight or if I just stumbled across that on my own. Have we ever gotten a perfect negative 100 out of 100? Uh, the worst game I've ever seen was Eagle Wars on Steam, but we've seen some that have been such theft that they're just like, like some that have just been crime. Like we, we, we categorize some games that are so bad and, and just full of stolen assets and, and everything. It's just pure crime. And there's been a few, but I don't know which is the worst. We've stumbled across a ton of Russian shovelware and Chinese mobile stolen garbage. And there's too much to, it's, it's called steam shovelware reviews for a reason. Kinky Island, yeah. Okay, here we go, grid. Oh, that white screen is making me salty. Can you put that on a less blinding background? Oh. Why? Oh my god, look. Look at the languages. <laughs> you know what pisses me off about this? About the, this language shit? Um... Uh... What is it? Um... Oh shit, thank you True Lim for the 25 bits. Appreciate that, my friend. What pisses me off about the um the, the the listing every language because like you can just Google translate it is a lot of these languages have different um alphabets for they don't use uh um our like the the is it Arabic number system? 
What number system do we use? It's some... Um, what's it called? Uh... Like the same one that like... You know, that has like like our numbers, like one and two and three, like the shared number system. What is it? What's the term for that? I always forget. Um, you fucking... Is it Arabic? Not metric, Arabic, okay. So we, we use the Arabic number system. Uh, at a quick glance, I'm fairly certain some of these don't use the Arabic number system. And it leads me to believe that developers are just lazy and click all the things because they know they can just Google Translate. But I'm trying to think, are any of these not the Arabic numbers? Oh, um... No, maybe they all are. I know Chinese, uh... Chinese, Korean, Japanese are all... Maybe I'm wrong. But it, it feels lazy and shitty when they're just like, ooh, every language, <laughs> Google Translate, it's like, uh. <clears throat> I guess you only have one word and it's not even a real word. The barbaric Chinese doesn't use the Arabic system. It doesn't. I know Japanese does and Korean does. Chinese does. Oh, you know, you know, you know what? You're right. Chinese doesn't. Hmm. Hmm. We use the Latin alphabet. Yeah. Yes, Arabic is the name of our number system because a lot of you'll notice a ton of languages share our numbering system, even if their alphabet is different. Like for instance, Japanese. Um, like Japanese has a very different alphabet than ours. In fact, you, you know, <laughs> it's a whole different thing, but the number system is separate. And that's why you can always read the numbers in a lot of those languages. Anyway, I don't know what I'm trying to talk about. That's completely unrelated to this. This looks functional, but very boring. Uh, it's, it's a generic puzzle game. It's, it's, it's well presented but I'm not intrigued at all. It, I'm sure there's something here, but this blinding white screen and you're clicking numbers and stuff, it, it feels mobile. Like it feels like the kind of game you'd play on the toilet. <laughs> to be fair, I can't imagine loading this up on Steam and like, maybe like your mom, your, your, your grandma would like get hooked on this, but I don't know if Steam is the place for this. I'm not, I'm not convinced. It looks okay, but I don't know that it's... Chinese use Arabic mostly? Okay. <laughs> I just spent the past hour, half hour or so looking at Tetris T-spins. Or triple T-spins. I have a curious T-shaped erection now. <laughs> That screenship, screenshot has a swastika? What? Wait, this? No, Wait, really? Uh, no, it doesn't, I don't think. Oh, I don't, I, I, they, I mean, if you, oh, this! Nah, it's cut off. The green, uh, it's, it's, it's not intentional, I'm sure of it. Anyway, this, I'm not interested enough in this. It, it's okay, it's probably something, but it's, there's, it's, it's kind of forgettable and you didn't really sell the whole like interesting, like if you're trying to basically like, it's like trying to sell Sudoku to someone. It's not easy. Uh, and selling it as like a video game format doesn't really work for me. I just think there's too much, too many games like this, and it's far too simple to ask for money. Like, I can't imagine someone paying money for that. Ah, sad days. It's kind of swastika-shaped-ish, I, I guess, but it, it isn't. That's the thing. It's a puzzle. It's a random puzzle that happens to have some shapes that almost... I wonder how the hell you read Japanese. They spell out sentences only using like six detailed jab well there's as far as i know there's two styles of japanese and they're vastly different and they're used for different things so but i don't i'm not the <clears throat> uh yeah the complicated alphabets are combinations of multiple symbols in one so yeah sipping on that lean it's just water but i wish i wish i had 
Wish I had something a little more spicy. Anyway, chat, that's the end of our Steam Greenlight um, queue. Thank you, everybody who subscribed. We had 11, does that say 11 new subs? Shit. 11 new subs tonight. And the most important thing, we found a really fun way to play For Honor. I'm gonna make that a regular thing. I'm gonna make a special segment of streams where we listen to loud, crazy metal music and we fucking stomp around as a shugoki and baseball bat people around and throw them into walls and break their spine and just like blood for the sumo god or whatever. Damn, that was super fun. It was awesome playing with you guys. You guys are awesome teammates. You let me do my thing. Uh, we didn't need to be on Discord to have a good time. Uh, damn. It was awesome. So everyone who took part in that and everyone who watched and cheered along, that was super fun. We're gonna do that more and it's a great way to level up and get experience and learn our characters more and everything like that. So we're gonna do that more often than 1v1s. 1v1s just get me salty and I feel like I could learn better in a situation like that because it's a little more frantic and you have to kind of keep your wits about you while also styling on, styling on baddies. Anyway, let's find someone for you guys to raid. Again, everybody who's still here, thank you everyone. Uh, what a crazy stream this was.